But pro football history of greater significance is written eight days later in Jefferson Stadium. The Dallas Texans champions of the Western Division bring an 11-3 record to Houston to challenge the right of the Oilers to a third straight title. Defending champion Houston has won the Eastern title with the same 11-3 mark, including a seven-game victory streak that is still unbroken. With player of the year Lenny Dawson calling the shots, the Texans dominate first half play on the flying feet of former TCU All-American Jack Spikes, shown here going 33 yards to open the second quarter of play. A base guard tackling penalty shoves the trailing Oilers back to their own 29 in one of the early breaks of the hard-fought battle. Nourishing a 3-0 lead, Dawson takes his time on second down after a run fails. Now the former Purdue great flips to Abner Haynes. And little Abner casually strolls in for his 20th touchdown of the year. Houston trails 17-0 at halftime, but on the first play of the third quarter, the Oilers show they're not ready to quit as Blanda drills a 24-yarder to Willard Duvall. From the triple wing, Toller goes inside for 12 important yards, leaving a string of Texans in his wake. A pass to Duvall moves the ball to the Dallas 15. On second down, Blanda goes back to Big Will, who traps the ball in the old breadbasket just to be sure. For the first time all day, the highly partisan gathering of nearly 38,000 has something to cheer about as they feel another of Houston's famed silky Sullivan-type finishes coming on. Blanda's 31-yard field goal early in the fourth period brings the Oilers to within seven points at 17-10. Midway of the period, a quick pitch over the middle to Cannon moves the ball to the Dallas 33. Another pass to Cannon moves the Oilers into the Texan 10-yard line. Now Blander rolls out and throws on the run, and Hennigan wraps himself around the ball to be certain the catch is good. Just minutes remain as Blander brings him out of the huddle to face a do-or-die situation. Under these circumstances, the nod goes to tank like Charlie Toller, who batters down the walls of Dallas for the touchdown that ties the score and sends the game into overtime. The largest crowd ever to see an American Football League game now becomes the wildest gathering the new league has ever seen. They're rewarded with a history-making sudden-death playoff as the game ends in a 17-17 tie. The Oilers reach midfield late in the fifth period as they continue to dominate play. Landis steps up the pace, and this shot to a fighting Bob McLeod moves the ball to the Dallas 35. Two plays later, Blanda attempts to move in closer for a sure shot at the field goal. His throw for Charlie Hennigan goes astray, and 245-pound Bill Hull comes up with the biggest play of his rookie season on this 23-yard interception return. Now the team's change ends for the first sixth period in football history. Jack Spikes, named the outstanding player in the game, drills off left tackle for 19 big yards as the Texans probe inside Houston's 20. Houston's stubborn defensive unit yields only one yard in three plays, so Dallas calls on kicking specialist Tommy Brooker. The Alabama rookie puts his toe to the ball from the 25. It's good, and the Texans are the new champions of the American Football League. As pandemonium breaks out among Dallas players and followers, the scoreboard will attest to their right to celebrate. It's 20-17 to 17 in favor of Coach Hank Stram's talent-laden Texans on pro football's longest day. It takes a record-setting performance to dethrone the first kings of the AFL in 1962. And as the fighting orders return to their dressing room, they vow it will take even more to keep them from returning to the throne in 1963.